Quebec City, summer or winter, one of this country's most beautiful cities. And we're here to welcome a new member to the Motoring TV team. Now, you've heard me say this before, but we're still on the air because, well, you are loyal viewers and our corporate partners, Canadian companies that step up to the plate and support us. Well, Quebec City is home to a Canadian success story, a man who invented and developed an all-Canadian car care product, and it's called Dry Shine. Cleaned all the grease, all the dirt, and left this shine that I hadn't seen before. We've been using dry shine on location. What I've liked about it is that it's kind of like a car wash in a, in a bottle. It's difficult to find a picture of the young Frederick Moneri without a car in the background. Cars and motorcycles soon became a passion for Fred growing up in Switzerland. But one day, Fred would meet a young nurse from Quebec City working in Switzerland on an internship. And Fred's world turned upside down. We are um, uh, together in one year in Switzerland. And we have made many, many uh, traveling. Uh, and at the end of this uh, year of the practice in, in, uh, in Switzerland, uh, she decides to come back in Canada. My heart is broken at this time <laughs> because I, I, I am in love with, with Nicole. The long distance romance would last over six years until Fred popped the question. Nicole said yes and they settled in Quebec City. Life was good and then at the age of 47 with two children, the company Fred worked for went bankrupt. And uh, I have uh, the Infiniti G35 modified it. Uh, no job, no much money on my account bank. But it would be his love of cars and his dislike of wasting precious water cleaning his cars and motorcycles that would lead him to inventing a new waterless car care product called Dry Shine. I have uh, trying to, to found a uh, chemist because I'm not a chemist, but I have some idea for um, developing this kind of the product. Freddy, uh, je trouve que c'est un homme uh, qui, uh, qui est déterminé quand il y a une passion. Je suis, euh, je suis énormément fière, fière que mon mari sait bien, euh, il est allé au bout de ses idées. C'est vrai que je trouvais ça fou, mais je, pour moi, l'important, c'est qu'il qu était heureux puis il l'a laissé libre euh, avec ses, euh, ses ambitions. J'étais certaine que ça, avec la passion qu'il a, j'étais certaine qu'il allait euh, trouver euh, ce qu'il fallait pour... Euh, after months of trial and error, Fred had found his unique formula. I was very, <laughs> very happy, but now the problems, the challenge is to sell this kind of the product in a retail. And it seemed only fitting that it would be Canadian Tire that would be the first to bring dry shine to Canadian consumers. It's Canadian, works great, and we sell lots of it. When we have a product that sells well and it's Canadian, that's a, like what I call as a two-punch, uh, wonderful uh, story. So we met Fred in about 2007. Um, came to us with a product idea that they had that they wanted to market. He wanted to do a demonstration for me. I had a, a motorcycle fairing beside my desk. Had some grease on it and some dirt on it. Sprayed his product on, let it sit for 30 seconds. Wiped it off. Cleaned all the grease, all the dirt and left this shine that I hadn't seen before. Without water, without soap, without anything. I, I was impressed. We've been using dry shine on location when we've been shooting uh, the two minute test drive. You just apply the spray on the car, wipe it off. You know, it's sparkling clean. He's not just a salesman. He doesn't just show the product, sell it, and walk away. He, he's really supporting it. He's looking to improve on it. He, he's very emotional about his product. That makes a difference. Here's the story of Dry Shine. For one product made in Canada, in my house, <laughs> it's incredible. I am very proud for that I have um, uh, uh, accomplished.